everyone and welcome back to another Saturday special! We are in the mountains today! <laughs> and I am trail running so I'm a little tired. <sighs> but that's good, my heart rate's nice and up high so I can have a couple minutes to show you guys some of the things I'm finding. So, as I've mentioned before, I'm so out of breath. I live in the Appalachian Mountains and this will probably be my last summer here. So I really want to try to hit the trails nearly every day so I can get out here and <laughs> lose my breath, but also show you guys what amazing things we can find during the growing season. So while I'm out here, <laughs> I've already, just at the entrance to the trail, found some trilliums. Look how pretty these guys are. They're just so lovely. Growing up from the ground, there's a few of them here. One, two, three here. Oh, and look at the little baby. Look at the little baby flower. So pretty, look at those guys. Little violets coming up. Here's another trillium. Looks like it's either a different type or at an earlier stage of development because it's got really dark purple, greenish leaves. These are all <laughs> flowering bushes. As far as you can see, all of these are flowering bushes. They're gonna go and flower, it's gonna be awesome. And then let's see. <sighs> look at this little boy. An acorn. Wee, but yeah, so there's a little acorn that's like sprouting. And then over here, everywhere you look, there's baby ferns coming up. Look at these little ones. Isn't that just fantastic? So they're, they're so delicate. Like their stem is very strong, but their leaves feel so soft and delicate right now. And it's so fun to see them bursting, like pushing and bursting out of their little fern frond shape right over here. Isn't that just amazing? Look at that. Oh my goodness. How enchanting. I love ferns. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's what we found so far. Just hiking around here. Like, just poking around. Look, look, look. Here's another buddy sprouting. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for other cool things. And I will like this little red guy. Look at him. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I want to show everybody what you look like, because you're really cool. Hi. I've never seen his type before. He's almost like a little, a little spider, but not quite. Oh, there's lots of them. They're all hanging out together, crawling in the moss. That's so cool. See? You never know what you're going to find. <laughs> and I'm probably all blurry. Sorry about that. But you never know what you're going to find. So what we're going to try to do, uh, starting in May, to encourage myself to get out and run the trails more, we're going to start to do um, what I'm going to term like Expedition Sundays, where I'm going to try to go out sometime during the week on a really good trail, a really good hike, really good exploratory nature thing, and show it to you guys on Sunday to kind of compliment Specimen Saturday. So Specimen Saturday is more about like the inert items I own, or have collected, or have found, or projects we're doing and Expedition Saturday will be a fun little uh, expedition. So, all right, I'm gonna hit the trail again and I will see you guys in a little bit. I found a thing. I am kind of concerned about poking it, but it looks a little bit like a geocatch. Let's see. This is a letter box. Please leave contents in the box. Oh, so apparently it's a letter. We need to leave the contents, but we found a letterbox. Log book, huh? Oh my gosh, I've never found something like this on the trail before. I wonder how many people have passed it up without realizing it. Is it all wet? Oh no, it's like double wrapped. Wow, you guys, this is so cool. We've like discovered <laughs> our specimen today is other human interaction. All right, so they've got like a little ink pad I think the pirate oh wow look this is from the 13 like years of the 13s the wandering rogues oh cool no one's put anything in it this year oh my gosh can we put something in it you know what we don't have the material to do that now but I'm gonna put this away so we found a letterbox on the trail I'm gonna zip it up tight again and put it away 
But there we go, you guys, another unexpected find. Not nature-based, but it shows how people can participate. And to think that this has been here since 2013. Next time we do this trail, I'll bring a pencil or a pen so we can write in it and be like, Ceres Pixel Biology Community. <laughs> the Pixel Biology Community in Ceres here has been here. 14 or like 17,000 people. Check it out what you're doing. There we go. All right, so I'm going to seal this up and not poke that scary hole that probably has something living in it because I'd be rude. Do you, do you want people sticking a stick in your house? No, that's just rude. That's just rude. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit because that was completely unexpected. That's really cool. <laughs> awesome, a letterbox. Huh, look at these guys. A whole bunch of baby trees coming up. They are actually going to compete fiercely for the sunlight, the room. The fastest grower is probably going to be the one who will be able to grow the best and try to take up some room. So see these new guys down here who are just popping up probably don't have the best chances. It's going to be the big guys who are already, you can see, shadowing the uh, smaller ones who are going to crowd them out, keep all the sunlight for themselves, and thus actually have a chance of potentially making it to the forest canopy one day. So look at all the baby trees. It's actually a fierce competition in the tree nursery right here for survival right now. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how many of these are still around in a couple months. And I don't even know who these are, but they're pretty. And they've really spread out. It's going to be fun to watch them bloom. We'll have to see what they are. It's my favorite! Moss! Look at all the mushrooms! Looks like bracket guys. Look, you can actually see this one right here starting to push up through this tree trunk. And it's going to come up and turn in to like this little swelling. They look like little clams. And then grow into this size right over here. Isn't that spectacular? Oh my gosh. But yeah, there's lots and lots of little little ones. I don't see any other fungi immediately apparent to me, but we'll find more, don't you worry. Oh, what's this? What's a little bud? A little flower bud. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find more as we work our way. Ooh, this is one of my favorite spots. When Darling and I were dating, he would bring me here and we would sit on the logs with our feet in the water. And it was just the most romantic thing ever. Also, watch out for the mud. All right, I'll see you guys. Oh, yeah. Our little romantic spot. I'm going to take a picture of that to show them when I get home. This is the romantic spot right over here where we would sit on the logs. We're lucky we didn't get bitten by any water moccasins. But this is, this is a cool little natural waterfall cliff. If you look, this isn't man-made. This is just where the stone has split somewhere and it's created this area. But you guys, I think there's something in the water. I was looking down. I think that's something. I'm not sure what, but it looks like something something. So I'm kind of curious. Now I'm pretty sure it's just a rock actually. Maybe laying on a bed of something. But doesn't it look like a fish? I think it's just a rock on second glance. Laying on like a bed of aluminum or something to trick me. But no sign of fishies or anything like that over here. Which is fine by me because that means maybe no slithers. So back on the trail. Bye romantic spot. Alright you guys. Check this out. This is a tree trunk. This is my hand on the tree trunk's root. Translate that into this and this is where it fell. Again, hand 
tree trunk. It's huge. It's really hard to get a scale of the sky. But it fell who knows how long ago. And if you look further down, you can actually see there's smaller trees growing on the sky now. So beautiful example of how even after death, you can contribute to life. Beautiful. I wish I could give you guys a sheer scale on size for some of these trees. Oh my gosh. The thing is, that's your normal, like normal sized in your neighborhood tree. Um, this would be like a big tree. That would be like a big tree. And then there's these. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful and possibly dead, but gorgeous. Wow. I can't imagine what it would be like to be in a forest with more of the old growth like this. Look at this little path. <laughs> and look at that woodpecker hole right there. That is an excellently worked hole. You can see where they have scraped away. Let me get down a little closer. You can see where they have scraped away the bark around the entrance and worked very hard to make that a good hole for whatever bird, I'm assuming, lives there. Look at this. You guys, isn't this just like magic? Yeah, we'll come out more. We'll come out more and I think things will be okay. Alright, so. <laughs> Let's get back to the path. Alright, to try to give you a little bit of perspective on the scale of this tree, I'm standing in front of it. And now, from me standing in front of it, you see the base. Yep. <laughs> this is a huge giant. It's bark. The pieces of its bark are as big as my hands. Can you imagine when the world was full of more of these before they became like dining room tables? There's something really powerful about an old tree. Wow. Oh man, you guys, look at the size of the, the fungus up there. Look at the size of the bracket fungus. Ugh, it's out of my reach. <laughs> you can see this tree is slowly being taken apart. <gasps> Ooh, it's a fungus. Oh my gosh, look at the size of it. It's being snacked on by a little millipede. Oh, look, there's all sorts of little worms and little flies. Look at the size of this thing, though. It's huge. Wow. Okay, I'll leave it there for you guys because you're eating it. Any more fungus on the ground? No, but you can see a lot of, like, flies zipping around. This tree is definitely <laughs> rotted out. You can see holes. It looks like somebody has a house in there. Another house right up there. So you can see their house right here. Maybe one right here was started, but it's pretty low to the ground, so. Oh, bracket fungus, why are you, why don't I have a golden chocobo to fly? <laughs> get up there and get to it. But all right, we're still going through. I've got to pick up the pace a little bit because I came here pretty late in the day and I don't have a flashlight, so <laughs> it wouldn't be good to get lost out here. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's see what else we can find. So I find something so cute about these little crossings where you just go through the creek it's so pretty oh it's so pretty what is that down there oh look it's more more of the side mushrooms <gasps> you guys <laughs> look at what my eyes have spied those are huge mushrooms down there oh my gosh I don't even know what kind they are whoops sorry they're huge! Oh man, can I go down there? Maybe not as unprotected from bugs and bites as I am, but oh, we're gonna have to come back and I'm gonna have to bring good shoes and we'll investigate those giant mushrooms. Also, hello tree! Got some little mushrooms on you too! <laughs> but yeah, look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful spot. We're in a magical place, my friends. A place where anything could happen. Huh. You know, when I wanted to find some cool fungus, I wasn't really thinking 
murder scene color slime mold fungus. It's kind of like someone smashed a pizza up against the side of this tree. And you can see where it's just dribbled all the way down. That's kind of creepy. You need a name, creepy fungus that is attracting tiny itty bitty little gnats. Oh my goodness, look at how odd it is. I've honestly never seen anything like you before. Well, we found a fungus, guys. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find some prettier ones as time goes on. Hello, everyone. Enjoy the view from the top as good as you can see it. It's kind of hard because the sun is taking away so much of it, but here we are. Now we're going to hike on down in a few more weeks as time goes on. We're going to find this area really full of plant life. Everything is dead, uh, slowly coming back to life and covered in thorns <laughs> right now. But this place, once these plants start blooming, becomes so full of butterflies. It's just clouds and clouds and clouds of butterflies. And it was one of the most <laughs> magical scenes that I've ever seen. And again, it was this is the trail I think I really began to deeply fall in love with Darling on because we would stand up here and butterflies would just be swirling all around us and it was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen and then you turn and you have this amazing person to share it with so uh, this is a very romantic trail for me and occasionally down here you see cows <laughs> which I love cows so that's fine by me but I'm going to work my way down, and we're going to have to come back when all of this is in bloom and see all the beautiful butterflies. <laughs>